characters with the best disadvantage stage, in my opinion, because she can down B out many situations and just reset. Yeah. Roy not having that luxury, he being yeah. all or nothing in most cases. Yeah. This combo game is also very horizontal. If you escape to a vertical escape, for example, with this flip kick, you're out of the combo. See, just like that, that was a jump instead of a flip kick, but it got him out of the situation where otherwise he could have eaten like maybe two or more fares. Definitely. And you don't really want to eat damage as Zero Suit, even though you benefit of Rage because you're really light and you die early, especially against a character like Roy. Oh, the rip! He just slaps him. Oh. Zero Suit's jab also having some sort of cross up potential with her third jab. Oh, F tilt is a. Zer into jab. Kaku oh. dropping a shield. Oh, that was really questionable there from Kaku. Maybe a miss input. And anything is happening huh, today. But I really do wonder how hard a punish game on ZSS is for Roy. How much does he benefit of her weight? Sends one paralyzer on the way. Oh, but it's also very strong in this matchup if if Quick knows how to space it and when to react with that. Up out of shit as Zero Suit is a very prevalent mm. and strong op option. Done throw. I don't yeah, that flip kicks out of there. Yep. It effectively, uh, effectively turns 50-50s into hard reads. Zero hundreds, yeah. yeah. Woo! And Quicksilver taking one fair on the side smash will platform. <laughs> that was a very, very interesting laugh tap from Kaku. Yeah, take this. Go away. <laughs> it's one slight jab. Jabs him out again. Now oh, Roy getting all of this adventures is not that easy for him as well. Okay. There's the chance for... Oh, Ooh, ah, the beefy F-tilt. Yeah, the interesting thing about this F-tilt is uh, the hitbox comes out before the visual. So for like one frame, he's using the force to throw you. <laughs> it looks very funny if you look at it in like a, a move visualizer. Oh, nice. Wall reads on Crick, putting on a lot of shield pressure onto Kakpu. But also very nice frame traps here from our good old Roy. Yeah, and we, we set the situation with one flip kick. It's so, such a good tool in this matchup. Yeah, it, feel, it feels good to have, man. Naysayers might say there's some risk to it. Uh, I uh. guess Roy, I don't know. <laughs> oh! Ah, seems ah, like he doesn't have that many follow ups off of F throw against fast followers like ZSS. Oh! Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, very clean edge guard from Quick, only taking 60% on stock number two, taking game number one. But the thing is with Roy, even though the 60% could have very well meant death, because yep. Roy has a few moves that are extremely strong, like the F smash if he gets, if he like. Gets you with an afro on the on the uh, afro zoo, and then he goes into tech chase, and he gets you, he reads you, and then f smashes. Yeah, man, you're dead. Uh, you can you can avoid these kinds of uh, tech chase scenarios if you di in. Of course, you leave yourself open to nair or fair or up air, but they don't kill you at 60. So I, I'd yeah. rather take eating a fair or a nair on reaction than I would take dying at 60 due to a wall read. Now let's see how quick does. Usually, from experience, I can say that quick adapts quite a lot to being set. Like for example in this case, I might not know how, how familiar he is with the Roy matchup, but I think just one game helps him more than enough to know what his game plan for the game number two is going to be. Definitely, because like even if you don't know the matchup, just stay to, true to what you know. Yeah. Use the safe stuff and see what he does. And then adapt accordingly. Yeah, okay. Oh nice. But very little reward apparently. I like the pivot grab, but the... Oh, oh here we go. Speaking of grab. ZSS yes, showing Roy <laughs> the actual reward of grabs. Yeah, that's some reward. Of course, the risk itself on the grab is far greater, yeah, but we ignore that. Oh. 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 oh! Wow, really? Okay. Okay, then. Very nice read from a good old Kakpool. The last remaining winners player of the Netherlands. The Netherlands. Luxembourg. I look at that flag and I think about the Netherlands. God damn it. The Dutchie in me has awoken. <laughs> it is woke. Wake. Woke. Wake off. Oh. Ooh, Interesting edge play here. Oh. Oh. Side B. Switching it was, momentum. It was slick from both of them. Oh. <laughs> Actually dropping his shield. I wonder what he expected. 
Uh, he might have tried to go for tap one, tap two, and then the second tap is going to be a power shield. Ah, I think yeah. maybe that would have been an idea, but well, yeah, a, a risky in itself. Ooh. Could have ended into a like, down throw into maybe like hard weed fair kill him off the side at 60. Yeah, could have maybe. Been, could have been. Oh, that wasn't safe. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, now now Quick is going for aerials, uh, or rather for tilts or jabs after his safe aerials on shield. For example, he went for a single nair on shield and Kakbuk shield grabbed it because Quick didn't quite go for a jab. Just like that. Yeah. Ooh! Ooh. That's it! Yeah. Wow! <laughs> the <laughs> not power. <even>, not <laughs> <laughs> Kong is impressed. <laughs> North Rhine Westphalia showing up. <laughs> wow! Like, CSS doesn't even need that spike to kill you. He's yeah. just gonna be like, mm, get hit with that. Also, for those unaware, that car, we tried putting the commentators in there. That would have been amazing, actually. That would have been a very interesting idea. But it was, yeah, they had no cushions on the seat, so we were like, no, 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 <sighs> please no. So, what's next? Kakpu still has a Game and Watch, he still has a Captain Falcon. Did, did I just hear Olimar? Uh, somebody in the crowd chanted Olimar and he picked it. But I am sure he's not going all over. His war is doing fine. Of course, he's down two games, but game number two didn't look too bad for him. All Quick had was one good opening with Nair to Downby. That's the explosiveness of GSS in a nutshell. <laughs> yeah, most definitely. Ooh. Like you can't, you're never really winning against this character. Yeah, but that's, but that's Smash 4 for a lot of people, a lot yeah, of characters, okay. right? Fair enough. Ooh, running away from the Nero saying like, nope. The chase, 35 percent, 38, and now we started. Uh. <laughs> wow! <laughs> wow! Okay, that's a classic. You're dead. Nani? <laughs> <laughs> let's compare the grab rewards. <laughs> yeah, let's compare those. 14 percent, one stock. Show me what you've got. Naysayers may say will suit has risk on her grab. Uh, yeah. But also feels like for Roy, even though he's Okay. No. Uh, where did our, our boy go? Uh, yeah, well, he went. Maybe he has to go back to his own game. He, he went deep sea diving. <laughs> but if, man, even his own game, why isn't that good? You need to babysit He's, the hell out uh, of him. I mean, okay, let's talk a bit about FA. <laughs> let's talk about Fire Emblem. I really tried playing it, but I see Roy, and he is so absolutely garbage in this yeah, game. I can't believe it. He needs to be babysat by Hector, man. <sighs> Daddy Hector. And now we have Winner's Final set up to be Purple H against Quick, which these days might as well be a classic. It's number two against number three, and they are very close in the rankings and in terms of skill and in terms of placings, wins, losses, 